Hi guys, so look at this question here. Again, a good question. This question says that a motorist uses 24% of his fuel in covering the first 20% of his total journey in city driving conditions. If he knows that he has to cover another 25% of his total journey in city driving conditions, what should be the minimum percentage increase in the fuel efficiency for non-city driving over the city driving fuel efficiency so that he is just able to cover his entire journey without having to refuel? Correct. So now, uh, because I need to calculate percentage increase, I need to calculate uh, all percentage change, right? So all data is in percentage. That means no absolute data here, no actual data here. So I can just assume anything, right? So let me, I can assume that, let's say the total fuel with me is, so total fuel with me is 100 liters. Okay, for example, I assume, okay. So normally, uh, let's take an example of car, right? So normally a car gives an average of 10 or 15. So trying to keep this as realistic as possible. So I'll assume that total distance is roughly, let's say, I can assume total distance as 1000 kilometer. Okay. Because on one liter, the, any car gives roughly between 10 to 15 kilometer, right? So I just try to keep this data a bit realistic. Okay. So total distance 1000 kilometer, total 100 liters, right? So 10 kilometer per, 10 per liter. That's a normal, I think the mileage, uh, okay, about the cars. So now, so total fuel is 100, total distance is 1000 kilometer, correct. Now it says that uh, he has to cover, to, uh, he uses 24% of his fuel in the covering first 20%. That means what he has done is uh, out of 1000 kilometer, the first 20%, that is 200 kilometer, he has, uh, he, he, for, he is using 24% uh, of the fuel, that is 24 liter, okay. And in the next 25%, right? So if he knows that he has to cover another 25% uh, in city driving conditions only. Okay. So first case is only for city driving conditions. Okay. And second case is also another 25% means another 250 kilometer at city driving conditions. Okay. So if for, if in 200 kilometer, he takes 24 liter fuels, so in the same conditions, same driving condition for 250 kilometer, how much fuel you will take? So you can directly calculate, do it mentally, right? The distance is increased by one fourth. So if the distance is increased by one fourth, that means the time will also, sorry, fuel will also increase by one fourth. So 24, one fourth is six liter. If you add six liter here, that means 250 kilometer, he will cover at six, at six more liter, that means 30 liters, okay? So a normal thing, right? 200 kilometer at 24 liter. So another 250 kilometer in 30 liters, right? That means total for total 450 kilometer, he will use up 54 liter fuels. Okay. Now for the rest 550 kilometer, he is left with 46 liter fuel. That's the condition here, right? Okay. So now it says that what should be the minimum percentage increase in the fuel efficiency for non-city driving over the city driving fuel efficiency. Okay. So that means now understand it guys. So basically, uh, in now it, it, it says that what is the fuel efficiency correct, right? So what is the fuel efficiency now? So if, if you see the data here, the fuel efficiency 450 kilometer, he's driving at 54 liter. So what is the fuel efficiency? Uh, 450 by 54. That is equal to uh, 250, uh, 225 by 27, I think, uh, it'll, it won't cancel, right? Uh, 225 by 27, I think it is, it will cancel by 9, 9, 6, ja, and 9, uh, 50, ja, 50 by 6, 25 by 3, okay, that is equal to 8.33, so 8.33 kilometer per liter is the driving conditions here, right, uh, is the fuel efficiency here, and in the second scenario, if he has to, know, if it doesn't have to refuel, that means the next 550 kilometer he should cover at 46 liter. So what is the fuel efficiency now? 550 by 46. Okay. So 46 tens of 460 and 132 is 5, uh, is, uh, sorry, 92 is 552. So 550 is roughly 11.95, right? So it should be around 11.9596 kind of, right? So let's take 11.95 kilometer per liter. Okay. So 46 tenure 460 and uh, 46 to the 92. So 460 plus 92 is four uh, is 552. So almost 12 times, right? Very uh, little bit less than 12. That is 11.95 we can take here. 
थोड़ा सा परसेंटेज इंक्रीज इन दी फ्यूल इफिशियंसी राइट सो एट टू एलेवन पॉइंट नाइन फाइव थोड़ी सा परसेंटेज इफिशियंसी सो इंक्रीज इज वॉट इंक्रीज इज ऑफ फोर पॉइंट सिक्स टू ऑन एट पॉइंट थ्री थ्री इन टू हंड्रेड जस्ट कैंसिल आउट इज फोर पॉइंट सिक्स टू जस्ट परसेंटेज इंक्रीज वर कैलकुलेटिंग इज फोर सिक्सटी टू अपॉन एट थर्टी थ्री इंटू हंड्रेड ओके सो यू कैन जस्ट सी यस एट थर्टी थ्री दिस टेन परसेंट इज एटी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री ओके सो आई कैन जस्ट डू फोर टाइम्स टू रीच क्लोजर इयर सो फोर्टी परसेंट विल बी Uh, it's four times will be three thirty two and one point that is roughly three thirty three. So forty percent is three thirty three. I'm left with another twenty nine. So uh, sorry, four thirty three. So forty percent will be four thirty three. Okay, and I'm left with another. Uh, I'm I'm doing right, right? Okay, four sixty two by eight thirty three. Na eighty three. It's one sixty three thirty two. Three thirty three. Okay, so what's the percentage increase here, guys? So increase is three point six two, eight point three three to eleven point nine, but three point six two upon eight point three three into hundred. That is equal to three sixty two upon eight thirty three into hundred. Right? If you see this data here, so eight thirty three, its ten percent is eighty three point three. To reach closer to three sixty two, I need need to do four times, right? So forty percent will be eighty three into four is three thirty two. So roughly three thirty three. Another twenty nine is left to make it total three sixty two here. Okay, so twenty nine is what percent of uh, eight thirty three? So it's one percent is eight. Okay, and so twenty nine, so around three and half times, right? One percent is eight point three. Three percent is around twenty five. So it should be around three and half times. Okay, so answer should be around forty three point five percent. So forty three point five percent should be the answer of this question. Okay. So in this such kind of question, when nothing actual is given, you can just assume anything, right? Assume total fuel hundred hundred liter and total distance is thousand kilometer. That will solve the purpose. Okay. Chalo.